The next product I wanted to, our next trade I wanted to talk about was sclerotinia. Um, sclerotinia is, is one of those diseases that is pretty prevalent in most areas of Saskatchewan on most years. It can be very environmentally dependent. Um, conditions that favor it are obviously um, moisture, so whether that's rain or even high humidity days like such as today. Um, and then, uh, you know, if we have a period of strong winds, that strong wind might dry out the canopy. But even on a what you might think could be a dry day, you go walk through your canola crop, and if your boots and your legs are getting wet, that's a perfect environment down in the canopy to have sclerotinia um, be, be growing and producing its apathies and infecting our petals. You don't necessarily have to have those, uh, those spores on your field. Um, they are very easily wind blowing in from the neighbor's field. And for sclerotinia, um, when, we, uh, when we develop our sclerotinia uh, hybrids through our breeding program, what we're really talking about is a reduction in incidence. And the CS40 that I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes is around 60% reduction in incidence of the disease which means that it provides that grower flexibility to decide, well, out of all my canola acres, I have some CS40 out there. I can maybe monitor those fields a little bit and uh, determine later on if I actually need to spray that crop or not. Conditions will change day to day, week to week. Um, maybe the other acres that are grown uh, into canola can be sprayed and we have a little window of time that's extended for making that decision on a product like CS40. Um, these days, lots of cereal crops are getting sprayed, so our sprayers are busy. And using sclerotinia um, resistant products from Pioneer and, and Bravant will certainly help uh, provide some flexibility in those decisions. It does provide peace of mind and convenience, of course. And that, that sclerotinia protection is built right into the plant, so it is season long. And, uh, and that's why we uh, have some of that flexibility in that management tool for us to use. Um, the sclerotia bodies germinate in the ground. They prevent these little um, aplothecia, which are kind of like little mushrooms. And these ones, uh, you can see how they're turned up like that. That means that those have, re uh, have um, they've released the apothecia and those petals are what we're trying to protect when we're out there with our sprayers. Those petals will land on leaf material or in the axles on the stem. And that infection will spread up and down from there and then you get those sclerotia bodies hiding inside the stems on those infected areas. And so it's really easy to find those. It's, it's quite obvious actually when you know what you're looking for.